everyone, and welcome to this informational webinar for the Northeastern University Doctor of Nursing Practice Nurse Anesthesia Program. I am Dr. Connie Lorette, and I am the Program Administrator and proud alum of the Northeastern University Nurse Anesthesia Program. I thank you for your interest in our program. Whether in a planned procedure or an emergency, a small local hospital or a regional center, a rural or urban setting, and throughout the life cycle, the nurse anesthetist is a critical member of the healthcare team. In fact, certified registered nurse anesthetists administer more than 30 million anesthetics each year in the United States. Here you see Dr. Dewan and me administering an anesthetic in Rwanda. Our profession touches lives across the globe. The Doctor of Nursing Practice Nurse Anesthesia Program has received full approval from the Council of Accreditation of Nurse Anesthesia Educational Programs, Commission on Collegiate Nursing Education, International Federation of Nurse Anesthetists, and the New England Association of Schools and Colleges. Our admission requirements are well defined on our website. However, I'd like to emphasize some of the major points. Uh, we require a baccalaureate of science in nursing, and we would like to see all of the official transcripts, including if you took only a single course at a university. An undergraduate GPA of greater than or equal to 3.0, and an undergraduate science GPA of greater than or equal to 3.0. If you do have a little bit of a lower science GPA, it is recommended that you take a couple of graduate science courses and submit those with your application. A graduate level statistics course with probability and hypotheses testing must be taken within two years of application. If you have not taken it prior to application, it must be completed prior to matriculation into the program. A graduate level chemistry and physics course taken within three years is highly recommended. And the official uh, graduate record examination score of greater than or equal to 300 with the quantitative and verbal being combined and the writing score of greater than 4.0. Three letters of recommendation, and those would be from your direct supervisor or a director of nursing, or perhaps one of your faculty members from your baccalaureate program. Your personal goal statement, and please describe yourself. Talk about yourself. Also, let us know why you think the doctor of nursing practice is going to make a difference in nurse anesthesia practice. You must have a current unrestricted license to practice in nursing in the United States and at least one year of current intensive care nursing experience prior to application. If this is a neonatal ICU, it needs to be a level three or four. Please keep record of your shadowing of CRNAs because we will discuss that on your interview. And you must have your CCRN and current ACLS. It is preferred to see your pediatric advanced life support as well. And then you will have an interview with faculty. The curriculum is divided into four components. We have our core nursing courses, our doctorate of nursing practice courses, our nurse anesthesia specialty didactic courses, and our nurse anesthesia specialty clinical courses. The program is a full-time 36 month program we do not offer part-time study and you must, this is a baccalaureate to a doctor of nursing practice. So if you already have a master's of science in nursing, all of those credits have been applied to your master's degree and they cannot be applied to another degree. So you would start off as a BSN to DMP program. And the applications are due by July 1st of each year for admission in May of the following year. Our interviews are conducted throughout July and August. And here's a sample of our curriculum, which has changed a little bit throughout the past three years based off of evaluation from our students in terms of the sequencing of some of the courses and what makes better sense for them and their education. So we see in year one, you're introduced to the role of an advanced practice nurse. Um, and the emphasis is on anesthesia. Um, also, we front load the program with a great combination of sciences, four advanced practice nursing courses, and doctoral introductory courses. Year two 
brings a whole new level of excitement as we introduce our skills lab and our simulation, and that's in the summer prior to entering your clinical. We prepare you greatly for your entry into the clinical anesthesia world. Um, in addition, you will be very much so immersed into your doctoral project work with your proposals, data collection, and analysis, leading to the final dissemination of your project. We certainly struck it rich when it comes to clinical affiliations. Um, indeed, we're very fortunate to be in Boston. Uh, this is a great draw for candidates from all areas of the United States. Uh, we currently have all of the Harvard Teaching Hospitals, along with many other tertiary and community hospitals, to provide for a very robust clinical experience. Um, we have 30 plus clinical sites. Currently, we have 13 sites that are primary sites and 18 other sites that are enrichment sites, including two CRNA only practice sites. And your third year wraps up with your specialty rotations within clinical, such as cardiac and thoracic, neurosurgery, pediatrics, obstetrics, and seminars that focus on preparation for the national certification examination. And here's the slide of your wonderful faculty at Northeastern University, um, myself, and beside me is Janet Dewan, who is the assistant program administrator. And beside Janet is Michael Butera, who is the director of simulation. Below me is Joshua Lee, who is the director of our wellness. And beside Josh is Maria Van Pelt. And then right below to the left, below Josh, is Lynn Reed. Um, who is uh, very instrumental in having helped to create our DMP curriculum. And beside Lynn is Susan Hall and Daniel King, who are newer faculty who joined us uh, full-time this year. And they've been just a great, great um, contribution to our faculty. So here is a picture of our robust simulation um, in, within our curriculum. I am on the left side, dressed up, watching one of our former students putting in a central line. And then off to the right, we have Dr. Dwan and Dr. Butera, who are monitoring a, an anesthesia crisis resource uh, management simulation. It's really fun, nerve, nerve wracking, but fun. <laughs> and here again are two of our senior students uh, going through a simulation. And then to the right is one of our graduates. And this shows that our, our skills lab even moves outside of our university. This is a skills lab through Boston Children's Hospital. And um, he is learning how to do a caudal block on a neonate. Another reason to come to Northeastern is our association with the Human Anatomy Lab. Here we have the opportunity to work with faculty from the nurse anesthesia program, physical therapy, and our PA program in our cadaver lab. Uh, we developed a new course to integrate applied anatomy and physiology principles of anesthesia with the use of prosected cadavers. Students are the reason that we are here. A uh, quote from Linda Williams, who was the AANA president in 98 to 99. Students only represent 10% of our AANA membership, but they represent 100% of our future. And here we have our class representatives for the class of 23, the class of 24, and the class of 25. Our students are very involved. Um, this here would be students or board members on the Massachusetts Association of Nurse Anesthetists and the New Hampshire Association of Nurse Anesthetists. Our faculty, several of our faculty are on the MANA board and I'm on the New Hampshire board, very important to stay involved with your association. And we are very proud of our Student Nurse Anesthetist Association. Um, each cohort passes the leadership torch to the next class coming in, and they have developed an official newsletter, which is known as the Laryngoscope. And it's a fantastic newsletter that keeps our students, faculty, and Northeastern University up to date with what is happening in our program. Our students are clinicians, scholars, and educators. We have been clinicians across the globe, as you see to the left, one of our students providing anesthesia. I believe that one was in Haiti. 
And in the center is one of our students um, at our little hospital in Rwanda. And then we have the International Student Journal of Nurse Anesthesia, uh, where we have all of our students create a case study and we send that in for publication. And Northeastern's also involved in the community. Um, we, we need to jumpstart that back up again because it, it got a little bit changed from COVID. This was right before COVID um, and we were at community servings, uh, creating meals for people. And also um, pictured here is our sacred space in L Hall. Um, our alum, Allison, is in the center and she's conducting a mindful meditation for the students. And uh, we are very, very proud of our global involvement and Dr. Duan, here she is pictured in Liberia um, teaching nurse anesthesia students. And here we are um, in Rwanda again with some of our graduates, um, me and Dr. Duan. And we're very, very proud of our outreach to the community and beyond. And this is the end of the presentation. And again, thank you for your interest in Northeastern University.